Hello and welcome back. My name is Drumroll Tony. We're getting into some beatbox music again. It's been a little while. This is D-Lo performing his piece, If My Bones Are Breaking. I'm excited. Let's go. Oh, that was interesting. If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are shrinking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are shrinking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are breaking, would you? If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? Is that sound? If my bone are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bone are breaking, would you tell me? If my bone are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bone pop kicking, would you tell me? If my bone pop breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bone pop breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? Ooh. If my bone pop breaking, I like the melodic variation there. We'll talk about it in a second. If my bones are broken, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bone pop choking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bone pop choking, would you tell me? If my bone pop choking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are scraping, then I'm shaking on my teeth. If my bones are broken, then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are broken, then I'm scraping on my teeth. Mm. The edit matches what it sounds like, though. You know? Oh, cool. If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. Whoa. If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are breaking, that then was I'm cool scraping part. on my teeth. Dude, that end. Oh, my God. All right. Well, there's a routine. Let's go back and listen to it again and just chop it up a little bit and talk about how impressive that is, man. That is nuts. That's a motif. I'm gonna boo do 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 kaka digi di kukakupa. I'm gonna remember that one for a long time, man. That's that's good installation. And right there, we already get the visual of the scraping the teeth. It comes full circle at the end, man. That did you hear the the distance, the uh like the kind of subdivision of rhythm of the first one versus the second one of how we're squeezing stuff in there? That is very cool. It's just a little longer with how many notes we're going to fit in the same amount of space. I love that kind of stuff, man. Just little substitutions like that. It's it's just cool to listen to. And immediately we get a bunch of variety. One more time, please. And also, sorry, one thing I will say on final on that is the snare drum sound in both those where it had a little variety on it. So you're just getting so much within the first, just the initial head of the groove here. What? <laughs> and I love the diminuendo, dude. Backing away from the mic with that, whatever that is, laser, like industrial, just funky sci-fi sound. I would have no clue how to produce that. It's just very, very interesting to listen to. The like water sound was already really cool, but then the sci-fi thing just comes out of nowhere, man. 
similar approach rhythmic so i'm not going to freeze it on that frame for him right there uh similar approach musically though with our subdivision of how we're putting that in and fitting in the other one just feels elongated it's very cool we call that theme of variations man this is very musical stuff do you hear how many like how many pitches were in that it's like this one more time i'm a you you hear two very strongly the high and low end obviously But as it goes on, you can hear that like resonate into something else. I don't know. I'm not smart enough to hear that on the fly and be able to like tell you what kind of like stack that is. But that that is pretty cool. And I appreciate the dynamic contrast as well. God. If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are shrinking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are shaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bone pop breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bone pop breaking, would you? God, that is so great, man. So we bring that motif back. We obviously put the snare drum underneath it. We, he, sorry. When I, if I say we, I, I take no. <laughs> just know that it's just me talking. I take no, like, I, I mean he. It's just a way of speaking. Anyway. Uh, I love how much just that the addition of the snare into there and then the addition of the snare in the bass on the second time we get it back It just makes it such a different groove you know? my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are breaking, would you tell me that I'm weak? How do you make that sound? Someone tell me the, how the hell do you make that sound man? And it's like I love the fact that rhythmically we're still in there. We're still in the same groove, but now it's like just fucking gurgulated. I don't even like, what do you even call that articulation? Come on, man. What? That is wild. Tell me that I'm weak. And then we have the, another laser variation on there in the end. And I mean, that's cool and stuff, but to me, that's not as cool as whatever the low end I don't know the the gurgle type sound that is so like it feels like it feels like like fleshy and low in the vocal cords. I don't know. It's just it's interesting to listen to, and it also sounds like this might sound gross, but kind of like sounds wet too. You know, like it just has that like muddy and low bass. I don't know what to say for a name. <laughs> My bone park breaking, but you tell me, but I'm weak. If my bone park breaking, but you tell me, if my bone park breaking, and once again, man, every time we get a theme of variation, this this groove keeps getting groovy. Er, if my bone park breaking, but you tell me, if my bones are breaking, but you tell me that I'm weak. If my bones are broken, but you tell me that I'm weak. I love so, man. That's the one part where the the uh, the motif got more tonal. Obviously, we got some like re added reverb and stuff, but who cares? I like the side mic dynamic, but it's it's more about where the progression, chord progression, where we went on this, and we leave. We leave that home base and we go somewhere else. I love that. If my bones are broken, would you tell me that I'm weak? If my bones are broken, would you tell me that I'm weak? Also like the editor, they put the skeleton in there. That's cool. So we got so much variation within that theme right there. And we like went places, man. That's so musical. Like you, someone could just do that over and over and over and never give us those little variants. But those variants are given. And that's what makes, I feel like this, like it makes a top notch for me. And remember, I know nothing. Like I'm such an outsider just looking in. We've only done like seven beatbox videos. I don't know what I'm talking about. I appreciate all the comments, folks giving like technical stuff. But you know, when you're an outsider and it's not an art, I'm practicing or learning. I, I'm just appreciating and I just really dig all the variation we're getting. And I think a lot of folks that don't give, they don't even know about beatboxing. They, they, they could also be an outsider like me, but appreciate because I feel like people don't have a clue of how demanding this is, how technical it is and how musical it is. Like it'd be hopefully as time goes on, this gets bigger and bigger and bigger because more eyeballs need to be. Can you imagine like, oh my God, dude, here's a gig. We need to do this, man. I'm one of the directors of the Seahawks show. We need a beatbox. We need like, Top five beatboxer to come in and be featured like a halftime at a Seahawks game. Can you imagine like if they were all mic'd up and we wrote a huge 
Does that, has that happened? I feel like I've never seen a beatboxer in any capacity with a, in a drumline setting. That would be happening, man. That would be such a different pitch, pitch that idea. That would be really good because we play with drum set. We play with like really famous drum set players as our guest people, which is cool, but it's kind of like variants of the same. We've definitely never, this would be a very cool vocal and percussion setting. Someone let me know, man. If you've seen that setting, let me know. And I want to talk to people that were involved with it. But otherwise, we'll just we'll just do it, man. Man, so talking about musicality, man, you bring all the stuff we got back. You take the elements we've heard. You mix them together. And it's very, very nice to listen to and bring that back in. It's familiar. So I imagine to create that, I feel like he's kind of getting down like low because I feel like his shoulders come up and the neck comes down. So I'm curious what has to happen inside of here to get that sound to come out and not like destroy you. Like if I, <laughs> I feel like if I tried to do that right now, I wouldn't be able to talk. Like that's, it looks very demanding. <laughs> I want that again. That was cool. Oh, I like that one. Oh, that, yeah. Boom, boom, ba, boom, ba. That's the other one I liked quite a bit when the first time I listened to it. That's a cool, it's a little push, a little syncopation. That enough to just, you know, like, it's nothing mind-blowing, but it's enough to, like, just instant train track switch for a moment, and then we're back. It makes the groove very, very interesting. <laughs> And it's relative to that first thing I keeped out about a second ago. I feel like the like the the bird the birdie type sound on top is already cool, even though it's the backbeat. But now that we're doing it above the gargletron thing, like, come on, man! I feel there's so much going on right now. If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are scraping, then I'm shaking on my teeth. If my bones are broken, then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are broken, then I'm scraping on my teeth. <laughs> oh, we do it, so now we get it all back, dude. This is so interesting. So my only like. Again, as the outsider, my deductive reasoning tells me, well, the technique used to get the low gargletron sound must be able to be independent from the like tongue clicking against the teeth in the top of the mouth because uh, clearly those can operate independently to happen at the same time. It, like one at a time is already cool, but putting them both together and then with the beat on top of it, it's just cool, man. Like it's, it's like this genius stuff. Yeah. If my bones are I'm just going to say it again. Imagine that though. What if you're in a club, dude, you, you know, you're all mic'd up. You got this huge sound system, but you got like 38 drummers around you as well. And you're, they're playing variations on that. Imagine the experience, like the listening experience, like it's like extreme entertainment value. In my opinion, like I've always wanted, like, you know, when you go to like Vegas, you know, you go on like Omni or whatever. And like, you know, they're little shit ass drum like And I apologize if anybody's involved with that. But every time I go there and someone orders bottle service, I look down because it, it, I don't got that kind of money. But I like listening to what's being played. I'm like, really? Like, how cool would it be, though, to have a similar environment where it's a high-end club? Like, it's cool stuff's going on, you know, and the social scene is good. But you also had equivalent with, like, the music element of when, like, a feature moment comes. Like, that would be super cool. Like, that needs to happen. I would love to, I mean, obviously being involved would be great. But just experiencing it would be, like, really fun. Like, it just feel like these things don't happen. Breaking then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. Dude, that part is insane. In my opinion, that's pro it's probably not, but just to me as the outsider, that is the most difficult part we got going on because we got the motif happening, we get the clicking, and we get the, the we'll call it the teeth percussion with the, the tongue clicking going on. It's just, it's hip, man. If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. If my bones are shaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. Yeah, I also feel like we got like actual clicking on the teeth there as per as a percussive unit. 
Maybe that's easy. Maybe it's not. I don't know. That's it's my favorite part. If my bones are shaking, then I'm skating on my teeth. If my bones are breaking, then I'm scraping on my teeth. Yeah, man, D-Lo, that that is happening, dude. I absolutely love. Sorry, it's 15 minutes. We kind of made it a little longer than probably needed to be, but it's all good, man. This was fun to get back to. Let me know what you think. Hey, let's 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 get a drumline beatbox thing going on. That would be a lot of fun. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me on live on Twitch. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye bye.